bitch. Oh, hell no. Bro, this bitch is fucking the old hot, sweaty work pussy. Thank you so much for watching Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like episode number 14 y'all we are on episode 14 out of the 16 kind of 17 episode series that we are coming to an end and I know I've seen a lot of y'all in the comments oh y'all don't want the story time to end bitch I did the fuck? <laughs> I wanted the story time to end during the situation because bitch it was a uh, girl so first of all if you new stop what you're doing just go ahead on and hit that subscribe button because ain't no way y'all about to be sitting up in here knowing my tea and y'all not even subscribe according to my youtube analytics a lot of y'all been watching from the outside so hit that subscribe button down below also hit that thumbs up that way your girl could continue to circulate out here in these youtube streets and hit that notification bell that way you could be notified the next time your girl posts another video so last story time we kind of discussed well, not kind of, we did. <laughs> we got into the actual behaviors of Katrina and like how she was just really just nasty as fuck. Didn't really give a fuck about anything. Was just doing whatever the fuck she wanted to do. And um, it continued. <laughs> it definitely did. And then I seen a lot of y'all, well not a lot, but I seen a few of y'all in the comments and y'all were saying how y'all felt sorry for Steven and this and that. And... I get why y'all saying that because in a sense it, it I did kind of feel sorry for him as well because his mama did put a lot on him mind y'all he was with, just with his daddy four years prior to this happening so um but shit he barely knew his mama if he asked me and it's like he coming you know moving with his mama all of a sudden and you know she have a new baby and now the new baby is being babysat by him I could definitely get why y'all thought that um, and I still do kind of feel sorry for him in a way because, I mean, that's his mama. He, he didn't pick his mama, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. So I can only just hope and pray that he grew up to be a, a good, good, unlazy, un-nasty, non-nasty, non-messy man. You know, I just can only hope, but it ain't looking too good if she doing a raisin. So we're just gonna keep them in our prayers, okay? <laughs> Whenever it comes to me and my husband, we like our house to be a certain way. And so all of their children had chores. Everybody had chores. My kids had chores and her kids had chores. And a part of one of Steven's chores was to make sure that he vacuumed the game room, which the game room was upstairs. He was supposed to vacuum that game room every single night because they'd be playing up in there every single night. Every single day they be playing, eating, and you know, it, it, it shit piles up if you just let it just be and not do what you need to do. So, so we came up with a plan of Steven making sure that he vacuumed every night. And so this one particular night, he hadn't vacuumed, and I asked him the next day, because I, I already knew, like, I'm the type of parent, like, I'm a peep shit. Depending on what it is, I'm not going to address you right then and there, so... I'm like, okay, I didn't hear that vacuum go off and none at all last night. So the next day I asked him about it. And I'm like, Steven, why didn't you vacuum? And you know what he said? He said, oh, well, my mama told me it was too late. So she told me not to vacuum and we have to go to bed. <laughs> Sir, I'm like, no, 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 no. Y'all be up all night doing whatever y'all need to do. Be up in the middle of the night watching her kid, AKA y'all little sister. And you mean to tell me it's too late for y'all to vacuum? I said, Steven, I don't know what your mama got going on. That didn't really make sense what your mama said, but I'm going to just let you know. If your mama feel like it's too late, maybe you should do these things a little bit earlier. Because he was the type, he will wait till late. He'll, like I told y'all my other story time, he'll come home from school, get straight in that bed and go to sleep. No homework, which it should have been homework because he was failing. Absolutely, he was failing. And he just didn't do anything. I was telling him, like, while you be up there asleep and not doing what you're supposed to do, that's the time for you to be making sure all your ducks in order. Like, if I was you and all I had to do was make sure I ain't had no dishes in the sink and also just have to make sure that a room was vacuumed, I would make sure that's, like, the first thing I do when I come home. That way, I could chill. I could play my game because he used to always be on that game as well. You know, this before he broke the TV or my TV. Yeah. <laughs> He used to stay on that game and so I just was telling him like, look, I know your mama talking about something is late. 
even though it, it ain't never too late whenever it comes to her needing a babysitter but do it this way you know so i was just talking to him just kind of trying to help him help himself at this point another irritating thing that katrina used to do like i told y'all in previous story times we would take turns cooking on her days that she would cook some of these days she'll get off work early she did a lot of or had a lot of vto like you know when voluntary time off i think that's what it stands for but she used to do a lot of that so she used to always be getting off early or knowing damn well she should stay her ass at work to make her money but she used to do a lot of that and one of these particular days i looked at her location i don't know why i looked at her location or what prompted me to look at her location but i'm like i know she's supposed to be at work but let me just see let me just do a little pop-up you know like a little pop-up check you know what i'm saying i look and she ain't even at work she not at work at all but once i started to peep that i'm just like okay so let me see this is her day to cook so let me just see if she's gonna use her time wisely and actually come the fuck home time goes on by this time bitch the kids and already came home from school she done been off work since early this morning and she just out and about in the streets either at her friend house either at a nigga house or just out in the streets period i'm just like okay let me see like i said let me see what she gonna do with her time girl it's seven o'clock at night she just now pulling up at the house and i'm just thinking like okay i wonder what she gonna cook for dinner because bitch it's almost time for these kids to go to bed you know what i'm saying um and i'm not about to get my ass up in there and cook the fuck i just cooked yesterday that wasn't a, according to the agreement you know what i'm saying she didn't ask me for no favors and i'm not doing her no favors either so she come home and make some lousy ass nasty ass little bitty ass hamburger helper and let me tell y'all i have no problem with hamburger helper at all i think hamburger helper is like one of those meals that you cook when you don't really feel like cooking and stuff like that um and you know it's just you and maybe one other person but it's how many kids it's, it's what five six seven eight nine ten depending on who's at the house it's always a minimum of at least six kids at the house every single night the other kids come on weekends or whatever depending on what it is but it's always a minimum of six kids why are you fixing six kids hamburger help a bitch and then she don't fix a couple of boxes she'll fix one box one pound of meat what the fuck is my kids gonna do with that girl it got to the point where she used to make it so much she used to cook hamburger helper so much that my daughter stopped eating and my daughter would just be like ma she cooking hamburger helper like can i eat something else or whatever and then one of these days i just so happened to see katrina and steven in the kitchen katrina in the kitchen teaching steven how to motherfucking make hamburger helper now ain't nothing wrong with it he need to know how to do something bitch but that's it i didn't see her now one other time go in that kitchen and teach that boy something else how to cook that poor boy ain't gonna know shit besides to cook hamburger helper and another reason why i'm making a big deal about the whole hamburger helper situation is because she wasn't teaching him how to cook hamburger helper because she just wanted her son to know something or to have some type of life skills. She taught him how to cook hamburger helper because she was too motherfucking lazy to get her ass up to do it her damn self. So she figured, hey, if I teach Steven how to cook this one pitiful ass meal on days that I don't feel like cooking or on days that I don't want to bring my ass home from work like a regular adult should do whenever they have kids i'm gonna teach him how to do this so that he can do this whenever i don't want to do it so that's why i'm making a big deal about it also got to the point where like on times where she didn't come home on time or didn't come home at all she would tell steven to cook hamburger helper the so girl my kids was hamburger helpers out i don't even cook that shit because i know my kids are fully traumatized of hamburger helper girl when you start having one two three four five six seven kids that shit don't be filling these kids up them kids still be hungry and my oldest son he'll be quick to go back in that kitchen at night right before bed just to fix him a bowl of cereal or something because he would literally still be hungry like these are growing kids it don't be no hamburger helper and no bread or hamburger helper and something else it just be plain old hamburger helper bitch and just be a little splat on a plate like the lunch lady a cafeteria lady put the food on my plate Next!
<laughs> them poke kids was hamburger help it the fuck out and girl it also got to the point where i started noticing food in the sink like i would see full blown plates of food in the sink now the first time or two i seen it i figured it was a motherfucking kid bitch i'm just like these nasty ass kids like why the fuck like literally the trash can is right there why wouldn't you before you put the plate in the sink why wouldn't you put it in a motherfucking trash bitch but i'm just like you know whatever it's stupid kids kids do stupid stupid shit sometimes right one of these days i was working and i work at this point i was working like in the living room and the way it was set up you can see the kitchen from the living room so i seen katrina come downstairs she had made the baby her and the baby some um food or whatever and she came back down to put it back in the sink or to put her dish in the sink so i go in the kitchen to you know do whatever I, my fat ass finna do because i'm pregnant i'm hungry as fuck i see a whole plate of pink eggs in the sink why the eggs pink bitch i don't know but guess what we finna look at it together girl because you know i have to take a picture of it right you know i have to <laughs> you know i have to take a picture of it why why is shit like that in the sink and let's that's exhibit a so let's go ahead and move on to exhibit B. This is exhibit B. This is another time that she left food in. Why, bitch, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with your hands? What's wrong with your mind? Why you can't just throw shit in the motherfucking trash? Piss me off. And it pissed me off so much that, of course, I had to take a picture of it and talk shit about it because I'm just like, ain't no way nobody gonna believe how nasty this bitch is unless I showed y'all proof. Like, ain't no way. Because y'all know me. My stories are 100% authentic. It has always been authentic. So if a bitch got proof, I'm gonna show y'all that motherfucking proof if I can. So, proof and proof. Bitch, nasty. Trifling. She's a nasty. Nasty? Nasty, bitch. Okay. It also got to the point where that shit started attracting gnats and shit like that. She would bring home fucking fruit and wouldn't even eat it and the shows of fruit just sitting out there so now we got gnats i've never had that issue ever in my life until i started living with this girl why do we have gnats and those motherfuckers are hard to get rid of and we were living in the country on top of that so it just made it even worse bitch we living in an open motherfucker field we got a bunch of everything at this point and she's not making it any better because she's leaving shit out and just making just just being nasty what i told y'all my nickname for her was miss nasty she definitely lived up to her nasty name moving forward to spring break of 2023 my kids, well, my oldest kids, my daughter, my oldest, well, I only got one older daughter, mine is my stepkids, but my daughter wanted to go with my son to his grandma's house because she's really tight with them still. And so I was like, fine, go ahead. I ain't got to worry about feeding y'all. All I got to do is worry about these other little two and these other little two, they ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So cool. Y'all go ahead and mind y'all business. So Katrina's other son, which did we, I don't think we ever named him. And if we did, it's been a while since I named him. So Katrina, other son, we named him Brandon for the purpose of this story time. He is her middle child. Katrina has four kids total at this point. She has Steven, which is her oldest. She has Brandon. He is her second oldest, which at this time he's like 11 or 12. And then she has little Dante. He's nine at this time. And then lastly, we got baby girl. And at this time, she's two. It's just her, Katrina kids and then my two boys. I'm just like, okay, cool. The, the house is going to be a little quiet. We ain't got to worry about, you know, my oldest kids and her kids going to do whatever and leave me the fuck alone. And my kids going to be down here because they be down there in our room anyway. So they don't really have no reason to go up there because my kids don't really interact with her kids like that. I mean, well, at least my youngest kids, like every now and then they'll play or whatever but they didn't really play with them too too much so they don't really give a fuck about them being upstairs if they still was not upstairs they're not upstairs either girl one of these days me and my husband and the boys we had left to go do something i forgot what it was but we came home and i go to the kitchen to do whatever i gotta do and i look and so we the way it was set up and y'all getting ready to see we had our trash can right in front of our window, which was in the kitchen, which honestly really was a bad place for, but that was the only spot that really just made sense. So the trash can was where it was, right? And so I'm in the kitchen and I see looking like from afar, from a distance, it looked like just little black specks and I immediately get creeped out because I'm just like, what the fuck is that? And this damn window, I could not understand it. So I look up close and i'm just like what is that like it looked like something was laying eggs bitch it was so disgusting looking until i looked in the trash and i seen the trash had the same thing like on the outside of the trash it was just like 
little black specks of some shit, bitch. And so I'm just like, what the fuck is this? So I'm looking inside the trash at this point. And bitch, I see dragon fruit. Why do I have dragon fruit seeds, dragon fruit balls, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the little beads? Bitch, I don't know. It just looked gross. So now I'm going to go ahead and present you exhibit C, your honor. Um... <laughs> It looked gross. Like, don't that look nasty? Like, from somebody not knowing what it was. And, of course, I took a picture of it because, bitch, I could not believe that that shit was just sitting right there. So, at this time, I don't think the boys were at the house. I don't think so. And if they were, they were up upstairs. I don't know. Whatever it was, we didn't, like, lay eyes on them to really just be like, okay, who this stuff is for? Clean it up. You know what I'm saying? So, time had went on. And the boys were downstairs cleaning up because even though my kids ain't there you know they still there so they still got chores and they cleaning up and i'm like okay best so that means they're gonna clean up whatever the fuck that shit nasty shit was like they're gonna they're gonna clean it up right girl the next day why the shit still there <laughs> bitch what you mean tell me y'all asses been up and down these stairs in and out this kitchen and y'all didn't say let me clean it up and i put the icing on the cake Katrina went in there to cook dinner and she of course didn't say anything about it either why because she is Miss Nasty she didn't think to say oh let me tell my boys this because I'm the one who bought the fucking dragon fruit so let me tell them to clean up behind it so nah she didn't think to say none of that shit she just allowed it to be where it was bitch by this time i'm just like yeah too much time has went on like i'm finna say something so i said i, I don't know who i said something to it, it definitely wasn't steven it was either Lil dante or brandon i said something to them and i'm just like y'all need to clean this up like this is gross this been here for the last two days and ain't nobody thought to clean it up like what type of mess is that i'm just like okay so let me just see how nasty this house really get because my kid's not here so i want to see who who is really the problem and my boys by the way they they not in they way and if they are i'm making sure they stay out they way i'm purposely making sure i separate them from them because i don't want no mix up i want to know who's nasty i really want to know who's the nastiest it's the battle of the nastiness at this fucking point bitch i'm gonna figure out who it is is it my kids because if it's my kids i'm gonna address it I promise you we're gonna get that shit in check but if it's her kids i need to know that shit too because i don't want to be thinking it's my kids or not knowing who kids like i want to know so this was the moment of truth this time with my two oldest kids being away was really the moment of truth and the truth was bitch they was nasty they were they were the culprits they were nasty clothes all over the place bitch the, the floor in the kitchen is nothing but food Lil Dante he y'all know did I tell y'all yeah I did tell y'all in the beginning of the story time I told y'all Lil Dante only has one arm okay so Lil Dante is really independent for a little boy to have one arm you know he was born like that so obviously like he already used to it he know how to get around and shit so he be pouring himself juice and making himself bowls of cereal and shit and a lot of times he be spilling it because I mean granted he's only really using one arm and so which i understand but my thing is if you spill something clean it up clean it the fuck up pick it up and he didn't do that and i opened up the refrigerator i see nothing but kool-aid at the bottom of the refrigerator because he didn't spill kool-aid in the refrigerator so that's that's sticky that's nasty bitch you know we got food in the fucking pantry when it should be in the motherfucking trash it was gross and meanwhile all of this is happening what is katrina doing not a damn thing coming in and out the house from work or from niggas or whoever the fuck she was doing or whatever the fuck she was doing like she was ignoring all of that i did not one time hear her tell them boys y'all need to clean the fuck up like she didn't tell them anything at all and that's exactly what she did upstairs I went upstairs, bitch, and upstairs looked like a motherfucking tornado. Clothes in the middle of the fucking hallway. The bathroom smelled like piss. This is the same bathroom that Katrina uses, okay? It was only one bathroom upstairs. It was two bathrooms downstairs. It was my, the bathroom that was in my room. 
which nobody besides me and my husband obviously or and my boys would use and then it was a half bathroom their main bathroom upstairs is that bathroom so they all share that bathroom and you would think a regular thinking minded adult would be like let me tell these kids to clean up like this is nasty i also didn't understand like you bringing niggas in and out this house like are you cleaning up before yo niggas get here like do they see this do they smell a piss it was just disgusting it got to the point where my son wouldn't even want to take a bath in the tub because he like the tub is dirty i don't want to take a bath in there i didn't dirty up the tub but that's just showing y'all how nasty she was and how nasty she allowed her kids to be and i'm telling my husband this and he like they don't want to listen to us we disciplined her kids obviously as y'all can see throughout this entire story time we did a lot of disciplining we disciplined her kids more than she katrina we talking about we disciplined them kids more than katrina disciplined them kids and that was just absolutely sad and so my husband he was fed up already prior to and so by me telling him this that just made it even worse so he like fuck that we finna cut the wi-fi off why because we pay that motherfucking wi-fi bill katrina don't i didn't mention this in the beginning of the story time or maybe i did but whenever katrina got her little car or whatever she was only paying rent the lights and her car note and insurance like all the other side bills like the cable the internet all of that none of that she was paying and so at this point we like well shit we paying for the shit like her kids upstairs on the game you know playing online and all this when we got a, a a dirty ass house and the house ain't dirty because of us not because of the adults because of these big ass kids these kids not little these kids ain't two ain't three ain't four ain't five bitch these kids are nine years old and up well capable enough to clean up after themselves so we like fuck it fuck it katrina ain't gonna say shit to them so let's just cut shut the wi-fi off so that's what i did i disconnected everything bitch I, it was so many devices on because we got at&t and so you can look at all of the devices that are connected to your internet but she was so many motherfucking devices i just connected it all even my shit on accident <laughs> i'm just like fuck it i'll figure out which one is mine but i just want to make sure ain't don't nobody have access to our wi-fi because ain't no nobody deserves no wi-fi around this bitch nobody they were on the game a lot they were always online they needed the internet so we knew by turning that internet off that would hit them where it hurt so that's what we did and girl <laughs> the night we did that my husband went to work I'm, I'm at home my husband calls me and he like i don't know who the fuck steven think he talking to because he texts me checking me about some wi-fi at 12 a.m we're gonna go ahead and present exhibit d because who the fuck steven thought he was talking to he texts my husband talking about some I, I i'm not looking at the text message right now i don't have time to pull it up but it's something about he's i know he said yo it's saying my PlayStation blocked or something. Y'all see the text with exactly what it said. Yo, yo ass is getting ready to get cussed out because who you talking to? Who you talking to? Ain't no, hey, how you doing? Ain't no, even no, hey. Yeah, nothing. No type of fucking respect. None. You texting my husband at 12 a.m. Checking him about some internet that you don't pay for? Your mama don't pay for it either? I don't remember if my husband said anything back. He couldn't have said anything back because I don't have that part. My husband, he was mad as hell. So he he already had it in his mind whenever he came home. He was going to walk up them steps and check and see how they upstairs looking. Because motherfuckers checking him about internet that they don't pay for. Oh, that mean that house clean. That mean y'all room clean. That mean that bathroom is smelling good bitch that means y'all shit good right that means y'all did everything that y'all was supposed to do oh okay so bet my husband come home and he comes upstairs he goes up walks upstairs he don't even come in the room bitch he goes like, that's how i knew he was mad he went straight upstairs to check out their room now mind y'all my cousin works overnight so he didn't come home until about like six o'clock in the morning he don't give a fuck he that he yeah he's that parent he's he don't give a fuck what time it is if something ain't right he gonna wake your ass up to fix it so and it's spring break bitch they ain't had shit to do so who gives a fuck katrina was there as well at this time so her room is literally next to there so i'm pretty sure she heard this conversation but she didn't say nothing she'll never say shit so he sees my husband sees obviously that it upstairs is dirty and messy and so he goes he proceeds to go to steven's messy ass room the room dirty as fuck as well and he goes off he i don't remember exactly what he said because i'm downstairs but 
All I know is he went off and he told Steven, you got one more time to talk to me like you're crazy. I'm an adult. You don't talk to me like I'm your homeboy checking me about some shit in my house. We're not doing that. So he said what he said and Steven, yes sir, yes sir, is always yes sir when a motherfucker fucked up. Where, why are we doing this? Like these are not even our fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> like these ain't our kids bitch why are we doing this i don't know moving on to this situation i'm gonna say this and then i'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up in previous story time i discussed with y'all how my husband would always work on katrina car my husband would also have steven outside helping him because he like okay steven the oldest of of her kids we clearly already knew that we were gonna be moving out soon so my husband train of thought was okay Katrina want me to do this and do that on her car. I'm gonna have her, her oldest son out here to teach him something because we ain't gonna be here forever. Your son needs to know how to do some of this shit because clearly the niggas that you're fucking and sucking on don't know how to do none of this. So let me just at least, you know, teach your son some things too. So whenever he'll be out there training her oil, he'll have Steven out there training her oil, shit like that. And then also my husband, he has a project car. So he be like doing shit on his car and sometimes he be needing help for certain things and so whenever he'd be needing that help he'll also ask Steven he also would pay Steven as well it wasn't just no free shit you know what I'm saying he would also pay Steven to help him do stuff whenever it came to his car baby Steven wasn't trying to do none of that Steven was lazy as fuck Steven would disappear he'll be in the garage with my husband and he but oh I gotta go use the bathroom he'll go to the bathroom you don't see him till two hours later he wasn't interested he wasn't interested in doing nothing besides playing that game or being asleep. That's it. That's all he was interested in doing. You're not in no type of sports. You know, you're not in, into any extracurricular activities. Like, you don't do anything. You At this point, he was a sophomore in high school. Like, he wasn't doing anything. Not to say that it was wrong for him not to be doing nothing. But y'all know, like, these kids don't just need to be all up in their phones 24-7. All up in the game 24-7. Like, these kids really need to be active. So... My my husband train of thought was okay. Let me teach him some skills because he obviously didn't have a dad in his life at this time to teach him any skills. So why not somebody else teach him those skills if they can? And that's the way that my husband will look at it. And Katrina, she would know that my husband is paying Stephen to help him do certain things on his car and stuff. Girl, one of these days she asked Stephen if he wants to go to the mall. And so, um, I, I guess he said, yeah, bitch. And he didn't, instead of him telling my husband, like, oh, I'm about to go with someone with my mama or whatever, he just disappears. He just disappears, and all of a sudden, my husband trying to figure out where Steven at. And I'm like, I don't know. I thought he was maybe in the bathroom or something. And so, he like, check Katrina location. <laughs> you know it's bad when my, when my husband asked me to check the location, bitch, because my husband, he ain't really too much care about that shit. It was me. He said, check that location. Let me see if this boy didn't left with his mama because my, my daughter, she looked in all of the rooms. He wasn't know where to be found. So we knew he had to have been somewhere with his mama. And sure the fuck enough, he was. Him and his mama was about four to five minutes away, bitch, at this goddamn point. He gone. He gone at the mall with his mama. His mama knew prior to that he, what he was doing, that he was, you know, doing something to get paid and this and that, make some extra money. Because he always be wanting to make extra money, so why not? you know learn something and make money to learn you know but some kids it ain't shit you can do to save them you know what i'm saying my husband was really trying to like in a way save steven but he he couldn't because his mama wasn't even encouraging it his mama wasn't pushing him to do better his mama wasn't doing none of that but whenever it came to her car needing to be fixed on it got to the point where his mama would stop asking my husband directly or sometimes she would even ask me directly to, you know, to see if my husband could help her with her car. She stopped that bitch. She started asking Steven to ask my husband. So now Steven the middleman because for whatever reason the bitch didn't want to ask herself. It really pissed my husband off because it's like I'm paying you to do something and you know I'm paying him to do it. But, you, but yet you tell him to hop in the car with you to go to the fucking mall. Literally a few weeks later, which literally a few weeks later, um, she needed her oil change, bitch. <laughs> she needed her fucking oil change. Here he go. My mama wanna know if you could help me change her oil. Keyword, my mama wanna know if you could help me change her oil. She was kind of like being sneaky with her, trying to be slick with it. Instead of her asking my husband to just change the oil, now she's asking my husband to help Steven as if he ain't gonna be the one mainly doing the work anyway because Steven don't really know what the fuck he doing. So, what up? My, my husband said, yeah, all right, I'll go out there with you. I ain't doing nothing. I'll tell you what to do, but I, I'm not touching her call. 
I'll go out there and, and tell you what to do. And so that's exactly what he did. He was out there guiding him or whatever. And girl, that boy was out there for a long ass time. I ain't much gonna lie to y'all. He was out there from dusk to dawn, bitch. Seemed like. Girl, so the next day, Katrina, after he didn't change her oil or whatever, Katrina goes to work. Well, the next night, rather, she goes to work and stuff. The morning that she was supposed to get off, Steven, he was the one to tell her that his mama car stopped fucking working. She had to leave her car at work and get a ride home. And so, again, this is the information that we're getting from Steven. We don't know nothing about it because she didn't tell us shit. So, but, you know, we ain't gonna say nothing to her because she ain't say nothing to us. So I'm just like, oh shit, this motherfucker fucked his mama car up. But long story short, what ended up happening is whenever Steven was tightening up uh, bolts or something, he he forgot a bolt, I think, or some shit like that. And so it created, it caused her oil to like leak. And it was leaking so bad to where all the oil leaked out of the motherfucking car. And so let's go ahead and go to exhibit E where we see the oil puddle. And as a matter of fact, you see the motherfucking oil puddle in my background too, bitch. Yeah, that oil puddle is from her car being fucked up because her son fucked her car up. She asked if he could do it. You know what I'm saying? She just wanted my husband to just be there to make sure that he was doing the right thing, which he was. But obviously he's not literally under the car, you know, but he's a, being that him and Steven have done this multiple times. He's expecting Steven to have known these things. She didn't left her car at work. I'm just like, oh shit, how the fuck she get home? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, but I'm checking that location though, bitch. I see that she's at her friend's house. So I'm like, okay, she put, she must have rode home with her friend because, you know, her friend, you know, worked the same shift as her. So I'm just like, yeah, that's what she must have did. At this point, I'm working. I see that her location is approaching to the house. You know, this, this is a couple hours afterwards. So I'm just like, oh, okay, I wonder if she got her car. Did she get her car towed? Because I knew she had AAA. So I don't know what's going on because she ain't telling us shit. She ain't telling us nothing at all. She pull up, but bitch, it ain't her car. And bitch, she ain't even by herself. Not only is it ain't her car, but she ain't by herself. And I don't mean she would a friend, her homegirl. <laughs> she done caught a ride with a nigga, bitch. She done caught a ride with some nigga. I ain't never seen a nigga before. But you know, I whenever I work, my back is against the door. But you know me, I did a little, oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, you do a little, oh, hey, you home? Oh, I didn't know that was you. Just to try to peep us in to see who the fuck she got in my motherfucking house, bitch. Or in our house at this point. Girl, it's a whole new nigga. So, girl, I'm working. I'm minding my business. I'm just shaking my head. I'm just like, mm. She had to bring a nigga to the house. You know, her friend must have couldn't take her home. So, she bringing a nigga home. But, bitch, they went upstairs. So, I'm just like, oh, that's what time of, that's what type of party this is. You, you, you fucking for a ride. Okay, you fucking for a ride. You know what I'm saying? It happens to the, the, the best of us, you know. But bitch, we 30 at this point. We 30 and up. At least she was. She's 30 and up. Why you still fucking for rides, bitch? You don't have one good nigga, like, that you know you could count on? Apparently she didn't because she had to fuck for a ride. And I say that because why I'm working, it's quiet. The kids are gone. Why all of a sudden I just start hearing... This bitch is fucking and I hear it. I hear it. Sorry y'all, I have to switch cameras because my camera just died. So sorry for the quality, but we are gonna wrap this up. So girl, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm appalled. I'm appalled mostly at the fact that they literally just pulled up five minutes ago. Okay, let me not. 10 minutes ago, I'll give it 10 minutes. You literally just pulled up 10 minutes ago. I did not hear that shower go off because I can hear when the shower go off when I'm downstairs. I didn't hear a shower go off, so that means yo hot, sweaty, work pussy. That means you ain't take no shower. She worked at Amazon Warehouse, right? You got warehouse pussy, bitch. A hot warehouse pussy. Because I could not believe it. I could throw up at the smell of that room. It got quiet all of a sudden. So I'm like, okay, fine. Whew, they finished. Girl, why about 10 minutes later, I started hearing it again. Oh, they do. Oh. No! Oh no, I can't believe this. You know what? Uh, you nasty. I was disgusted because I couldn't go nowhere, bitch. I'm on the clock. This is my work area, bitch. 
the fuck I'm where I'm supposed to be and that wasn't the first time that that had happened the first time and I didn't put this in my previous story time because I couldn't remember exactly when but girl the very first time this happened it was late at night the dogs start barking all of a sudden and I already knew I told y'all when them dogs start barking in the middle of the night because she bringing a nigga in the house and I knew she had somebody at the house but it didn't really dawn on me you know whatever so I'm asleep my kids are upstairs as well all my kids even my step kids were there my kids they stay up late sometimes so I'm hearing noises it wasn't the it wasn't that it was kind of like that just a different tone bitch I don't know like a different pitch I don't know but girl I heard it and I'm just I I pause my TV or I turn my TV down. I, I'm listening to it again. I'm just like, what the fuck is that? I automatically think it's a motherfucking kid, bitch. So I'm just like, let me tell these kids to go to damn bed. So I call my daughter. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm calling my daughter and I'm just like, what are y'all doing? And she's like, we sleep. I'm like, y'all can't be because I hear noise. And she's like, what noise? Don't worry about it, baby. Go back to sleep. Mama, sorry. Don't even much worry about it. Click. Girl, it dawned on me. This bitch is fucking. She fucking again. I'm just like, damn. Like, literally, I'm not saying she can't have a life. It's not her fault that her room is on that. No, it is her fault because she chose to live with us. It is what it is. You know your room is, like, that close. Like, your room is on the in the same hallway as the kids. Why, like, granted, they were sleeping. They didn't hear anything. But what if they were up? You wouldn't have given a fuck. Yeah, that's what it was. Girl, I could not believe. I could not believe that she was just this bold. And what disgusted me even more and made me mad even more, honestly, is the fact that, bitch, you know you got HIV. You have you have the house in Virginia. If the house in Virginia was a person, it would be her. Like, I'm just saying. So, I would be thinking of these scenarios. I, I think of the worst. I'd be like, what if somebody found out her tea, found out about it, and tried to come and shoot up our motherfucking house, and or try to beat her ass, like, you know, and she upstairs getting her ass beat, and I'm downstairs, I'm damn sure ain't helping her, bitch, and we leaving. The fuck? And you, you, you going home? I'll call the cops. I'll let, let you handle that. But, like, I thought... <laughs> I thought about different scenarios like that because people are, are really fucking crazy these days, especially whenever it comes to their health. Whenever it comes to their my chart, bitch, niggas don't be playing about their my chart like that, especially whenever it comes to like some serious, serious shit like that, bitch. Like that just you don't play with your health like that. I don't give a fuck if you undetected or not. They need to know. Listen, y'all, if y'all watching this and if y'all got an STD or whatever, bitch, I don't give a fuck if you undetectable. You're barely detectable. You what? I don't care. You have to tell people these things because that is, that is, that's a crime. That is a crime. She was literally committing crimes in house. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead on and pause it right here. Tell me what y'all thoughts is. Let me piss you off one more time before we end this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you could be a part of this family uh-huh because i know i know you see me on your youtube recommendations so go ahead and hit that subscribe button because this is a safe place i promise you and also don't forget to hit that like button that way your girl can be out here in these youtube streets and hit that notification bell as well that way you can be notified the next time your girl posts that being said, don't forget to send me y'all stories, any crazy story times or any advice y'all need. Remember, I am starting that new series up again. So go ahead and email me at ismissangelitv at gmail.com. That way I can read y'all stories or give y'all advice anonymously, of course. I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Peace.